Okay, we have retained another integral. This one's from the MIT integration, be 2006, number 30. We've got the integral from zero to pi over two, arc sine, cosine x, dx. Okay, I already did a video recently on this, but I was thinking about doing an alternative method video, and here it is, what I want to do in this one. I just want to do this using King's principle. Okay, we have our King's principle down here on the right. This tends to work pretty well when you've got bounds like this with trig integrals going from zero to pi over two. So then in this case, using this, our B value is gonna be just pi over two. Our lower bound, our A value is gonna be zero. And then we're basically making a substitution, keeping the bounds the same and evaluating our function, this being our F of S, sorry, our F of X, evaluating it with this. So in this case, for our F of B plus A minus X, we add the bounds and we get pi over two minus X, and we just need to plug this in here. So what's gonna happen when you do that? Again, bounds stay the same, zero to pi over two. We wanna find this. So we're gonna be looking for arc sine of just cosine pi over two minus x dx. But the nice thing about that, this right here, we can use complementary angle formula, cosine pi over two minus x. The formula tells us this is the same thing as sine of x. So we can just go ahead and rewrite this over here. What's gonna happen? same bounds, but now we have this simplified because we have arc sine of sine x. But now this is really nice because we can simplify this. The important thing is our bounds. This is just first quadrant. Now, if this was someplace else, this wouldn't be so simple, but in the first quadrant, arc sine of sine x, this just reduces to x. So now all we need to do for this is we just need to integrate zero to pi over two x dx. Power rule, we get x squared over two evaluated from zero to pi over two. The value at zero is gonna be nothing, so we just need to plug in pi over two. Squaring that, we get pi squared over four, divided by this two here. So for my final solution is we just get pi squared over eight. Okay, there you have it, MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.